a suspected Chinese spy balloon hovering over the northern U.S. We received dozens of photos like this one. UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. Countless videos have recently surfaced on the internet, capturing not your typical viral content, but rather an array of extraordinary sights, including peculiar beings spotted in the sky. From locations like Ohua, Rio, Mongolia, and Utah, these revelations have not only stunned the global audience, but also left leading scientists perplexed as they struggle to provide explanations. Join us as we unveil some of the bizarre phenomena observed in the sky that continue to confuse scientists worldwide. The Cloud Wonders of Manta Ray, a strange sighting in the busy city of Nagpur, India, has left people surprised. Instead of falling to the ground like usual space rocks, these bright objects were seen flying parallel to the ground. Instead of a crash, they left on their trail glowing tracks, leaving everyone to wonder if they were not regular spacecrafts but unidentified flying objects. The strange behavior of these flying objects confused everyone. The Indian clouds were quite mysterious, as an Indian driver observed the unnatural gathering of a mass of clouds. The clouds formed a perfect square, and this indicated to the general public that someone was deliberately messing with the cloud. This could be someone who uses resources like chemtrails or clouds, strange things that were just found in the sky and scientists can't explain. According to Mr. Sahu, after he had observed this stunning object, he believes the light sighting could be because of some satellite passing through the low Earth orbit. In videos and pictures of the event, about four to seven bright shining lights could be seen gliding in the sky. The video shared on social media platforms showed that light in the form of a straight line was blinking in the sky. Defense sources in the government later confirmed that it was indeed a satellite. An earlier media report said that it was Elon Musk-led Starlink satellites, as reported by news agency Annie. Soon after, a video of a line of bright lights moving through the skies went viral on social media platforms. Earlier in June this year, mysterious rows of bright blinking lights gliding across the sky were sighted in Gujarat's Junagadh and the surrounding region, triggering speculation of unidentified flying objects. However, Naratam Sahu, advisor at Gujarat Council of Science and Technology, dismissed the theory of the unnatural light sighting being UFOs. The Gukost advisor said that in the Saurashtra region, people sighted 30 to 40 mysterious lights blinking in a straight line. This caused curiosity and fear in people of the region due to blind beliefs. However, according to space science, such light sightings could be for three reasons. It could be either because a small portion of a meteoroid had entered the surface of the Earth. It could also be a shooting star. If you think this phenomenon isn't mysterious enough, wait till you see the angelic being who descended in form of a cloud. Angels from above or fallen beings. In August 2019, the sky in Nebraska saw something really strange that confused a lot of people. A regular person, just like you and me, is a person who looks like a man climbing a ladder. They are made of clouds looking at the sky. This sight was magical and attracted the attention of many people who had gathered to celebrate this sin of redemption. Opinions and fantasies spread throughout the crowd all of them not knowing what they were seeing, and it had, but for others, this had primarily spiritual significance. In another part of the United States back in 2016, a resident of South Carolina could not believe his eyes as he looked into the clouds. A heavenly cloud appeared out of nowhere in the sky on a clear day, going against the expectations of people for the weather that day. And this cloud was not just any cloud, it took the shape of an angel. The South Carolina man felt compelled to not just keep this story to himself, but to share it with people everywhere, telling the story of his seeing something divine during the daytime. The cloud formed suddenly, standing apart from the other clouds, which only added to its mystery. Some people believed it to be a sign of divine powers, whilst others thought it to be the work of extraterrestrial beings. Amongst these different viewpoints, the mystery and intrigue of the clouds continue to plague people's minds, leaving open the possibility that it might not just be a cosmic coincidence. Texas, not wanting to feel left out of the divine or mystical experience, also had its encounter. 
On a day when the clouds were sprawled across the sky like a woman sprawled on the couch, a Texas man spotted an angelic figure in the heavens. Initially thought to be an odd pattern of clouds, the figure soon revealed itself. The man, eager to capture this moment, zoomed in on this ethereal entity. To his surprise, the zoomed-in image showed a tangible figure standing on top of the clouds. While some of these strange cloud sightings are relatable, there are some which can't even be identified. They are known as unidentified flying objects. Terrifying UFO spotted above Skinwalker. Rumors of UFOs and extraterrestrials have been circulating in the area for years, but despite all the rumors, there has never been hard evidence of what is going on there. An unidentified flying object is a plane-like object or any object within eyesight that is not readily visible to an observer. Following the development of rockets after World War II, UFOs have become a popular topic, with some researchers speculating that they are intelligent beings visiting Earth from other planets. UFOs became a major subject of interest following the development of rocketry after World War II and were thought by some researchers to be intelligent extraterrestrial life coming to pay visits to Earth. The first well-known UFO sighting occurred back in 1947, when businessman Kenneth Arnold claimed to see a group of nine high-speed objects near Mount Rainier in Washington while flying his small plane. Arnold estimated the speed of the crescent-shaped objects at several thousand miles per hour and said they moved like saucers, skipping on water. In the newspaper report that followed, it was mistakenly stated that the objects were saucer-shaped, hence the term flying saucer. Sightings of unidentified aerial phenomena increased, and in 1948, the U.S. Air Force began an investigation of these reports called Project Sign. The initial opinion of those involved with the project was that the UFOs were most likely sophisticated Soviet aircraft, although some researchers suggested that they might be spacecraft from other worlds the so-called extraterrestrial hypothesis within a year. Project Sign was succeeded by Project Grudge, which in 1952 was itself replaced by the longest-lived of the official inquiries into UFOs, Project Blue Book, headquartered at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. From 1952 to 1969, Project Blue Book compiled reports of more than 12,000 sightings or events each of which was ultimately classified as identified with a known astronomical, atmospheric, or artificial phenomenon, or unidentified. The latter category, approximately 6% of the total, included cases for which there was insufficient information to make an identification with a known phenomenon. Enough about the big U-2 claw outside of Loveland Aquarium. Utah's second most mysterious site, Skinwalker Ranch. Located in the Winta Basin, this paranormal hotspot boasts claims of flying saucers, mysterious lights, unknown illnesses, shape-shifting monsters, and just about everything else you can think of. It's so well known that there have been several books written about the property. And it's even the subject of a History Channel show. The earliest known inhabitants of this land played a big part in its ominous name. The property lies on land traditionally inhabited by the Ute tribe but the term skinwalker. In Navajo culture, skinwalkers are evil witches with the ability to shapeshift into any animal or human. The skinwalker legend is not well understood outside of Navajo culture, but what little is known about it by outsiders is enough to inspire scary stories of all varieties. One such story involves the Ute tribe. The legend goes that during a time of hostility between the Utes and Navajo, Members of the Navajo decided to unleash skinwalkers upon their enemies, and those skinwalkers still stalk the land today. Back to Skinwalker. The inhabitants of Skinwalker Ranch may have reported slightly different stories over the years, but they have a few things in common that are hard to shake. Most notable is the strong conviction that what they're seeing is the real deal, and it's a conviction shared by many in the area. Since the 1950s, there have been hundreds of reports of UFOs and unexplained phenomena. In the Uinta Basin, and not just at Skinwalker, neighbors of the ranch report seeing various types of bright lights in the sky, often appearing in a shape that looks like a doorway or portal. Others report giant flying objects. Cattle mutilations are common too. Some neighbors have reported seeing cows that appeared to have been struck by lightning with no sign of scorched earth to be found. 
One group shared a story of trying to spot UFOs one night, only to return to find that their car had been moved without a trace of tire tracks in the desert sand. Furthermore, scientists and astronomers express varying degrees of enthusiasm for the possibility of intelligent life in the universe. However, scientists generally dismiss the idea that aliens are visiting Earth. In Pale Blue Dot, a vision of the human future in space, Carl Sagan reviews the possibilities of alien visitors to Earth and suggests that there is good reason to be skeptical of them. Much of Sagan's work focuses on debunking folk stories and beliefs and tries to encourage more rigorous and skeptical thought. He similarly discussed criticism of beliefs in alien visitors in his earlier book, Demon Haunted World, Science as a Candle in the Dark. This zealous criticism of belief in UFOs from Sagan, who was well known for his speculative ideas about the likelihood of alien civilizations, might seem to be a contradiction. Sagan himself had even speculated on the possibilities of visits by ancient aliens in his essay from the early 1960s, Direct Contact Among Galactic Civilizations by Relativistic Interstellar Spaceflight. While the debate of whether UFOs are real or not is still going on, a holy city witnessed its own version of UFO sightings. UFO spotted on the Holy Land. At least two separate people have captured the glowing ball of light atop Jerusalem's Dome of Rock on camera. However, this may be a UFO, an evil spirit, or maybe God. The film was filmed with a light falling from somewhere in the sky of Jerusalem, much to the amazement of those who watched. In the video, the light-filled orb can be seen, hovering over the sacred site with oohs and ahs for about 30 seconds, from those who looked behind the camera. The alleged sighting happened on January 28th, and as more videos made their way online, conspiracy theories gathered momentum. You may shrug and say UFO sightings are a dime a dozen, especially in a world where everyone has a camera, but this one does have the extra spice of being at such a significant religious site. Anything is possible. Sunni Muslims believe it was from the Mount that Muhammad ascended to heaven, and it also represents one of the most important sites in the Jewish faith. But the doubters would suggest faking a film of one unidentified flying object could be down to a host of things, it could be a problem with the camera, or it could be a hoax. Perhaps more intriguing is the fact that it was shot from various angles that all seem to be in sync, particularly at the moment when the object flies upwards at high speed. As we know, the truth is out there. Deciding whether it's floating above the Temple Mount or in the mind of an elaborate hoax artist is what will fuel debate for many a year. The next piece of footage raises a few more questions. Filmed by a separate group from an entirely different angle, it appears to show the exact same ball of light, this time dramatically dropping to finish just above the Dome of Rock, an iconic sacred city in Jerusalem. Some UFO enthusiasts are convinced the videos are final proof that alien life exists. Others suggest the object is the Hebrew god Elohim. The mystery deepens as flying is forbidden above the sacred site, so the light cannot come from a plane. Two more videos of the light have since been posted on YouTube, with the cameraman writing, have fun debunking this one underneath the video post. Take a look at the video below, and we'll let you decide. After the sightings of a Chinese balloon in 2023, which was later shot down off the coast of South Carolina, the U.S. began more closely scrutinizing its airspace at high altitudes, including through radar enhancements that allowed the U.S. to better categorize and track slower-moving objects. General Glenn Van Herc, the commander of NORAD, said that in 2021, up to 98% of raw radar data was not routinely analyzed because the military aimed to filter out radio signals emanating from flocks of birds or weather balloons as opposed to potential threats. Van Herc said that the U.S. adjustments to radar monitoring in 2023 after the Chinese balloon intrusion gave the U.S. better fidelity in seeing smaller objects. The U.S. radar adjustments and increased vigilance increased the detection of objects. It remains unknown when state actor balloon incursions began. On February 14, after unidentified high-altitude objects had been detected and shot down over northern Alaska, Yukon, and Lake Huron, White House spokesman John Kirby said that the U.S. intelligence community would not dismiss as a possibility 
that these could be balloons that were simply tied to commercial or research entities and therefore benign. That very well could be or could emerge as a leading explanation here. The downing of the Yukon object on February 11, 2023, marked the first deployment of NORAD to down an aerial object within the 64-year history of the U.S.-Canadian Aerospace Warning and Air Sovereignty Organization. The objects shot down over northern Alaska, Yukon, and Lake Huron were all smaller than the Chinese balloon shot down over South Carolina. A report by The Guardian on February 17 suggested that one of the objects may have been an amateur hobbyist's $12 balloon. When asked about the possible extraterrestrial origin of the three objects downed over North America between February 9th and 12, General Von Herck said he personally had not ruled out anything, but he deferred to U.S. intelligence experts. UFOs aren't the only weird things that have been found in the sky. There are some other extremely strange happenings in the sky that have left many confused. Unusual Sky Occurrences in Brazil Something unusual happened in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It was so surprising that people could not believe their eyes. In June 2015, dumbfounded tourists saw two human-like figures flying gracefully through the sky. These mysterious beings disappeared after a short while. Now, considering the positive signs and miracles people have talked about before, people started to wonder if these were truly some kind of divine intervention. This surprising event points to a series of heavenly occurrences that seemed like random events. Not far away, in Mongolia, there was another strange sighting that got people talking. Witnesses saw a strange creature flying in the sky. It looked like a mix of a snake, a Chinese dragon, and a crocodile. It got locals talking, thinking it was some local Chinese dragon from mythology. Others believed that it could be an ancient creature, like a flying dinosaur like the ones that flew above the earth millions of years ago. The mix of ancient stories and prehistoric creatures made this mysterious sighting even more terrifying, making people wonder exactly what it was that they saw. Meanwhile, in busy Shanghai, something out of the ordinary happened to a couple during their normal day. While taking selfies, they suddenly saw flying aliens. Without wasting any time, they quickly went outside and took pictures of the strange creature. It had a twisted tail unusually and looked a lot like those made-up creatures from the video game, StarCraft. The Zergs are known for producing quickly, using swarm tactics, and adapting genetically, making them formidable opponents in science fiction. This unexpected encounter just blurred the line between real life and fiction, making people curious about the idea of insect-like aliens showing up unexpectedly in cities. These weird sightings are from celestial beings in Brazil to mythical creatures in Mongolia and now the mysterious alien craft in Japan. Japan's unidentified high-flying anomaly. In August 2018, an anomaly took place in the skies of Kumamoto, Japan. An unidentified white balloon-like object was spotted by residents in northeastern Japan on Wednesday with some people directing inquiries to police and other local authorities, while others took to Twitter to voice their excitement. An official from the Japan Meteorological Agency's Sendai office in Miyagi Prefecture confirmed it was not an item flown by the agency, saying, We checked with the Sendai Municipal Government and the Self-Defense Forces, but they have no idea either. According to the agency, calls about a mysterious floating object began arriving around 7 a.m., it was observed in Sendai and Fukushima prefectures, and a cross-shaped item, described by an agency official as resembling some type of observational equipment, could be seen hanging from the sphere. The Miyagi Prefectural Police also flew a helicopter to check on the object traveling. At more than 2,000 meters above the ground but have yet to determine its origin and identity, the police lost the exact location of the object in the evening after clouds blocked them from tracking it. The transport ministry's office at Sendai Airport said there had been no requests for flying an aerial vehicle as per aviation law. As it is not on any flight paths, it will not impact aircraft operations, but we will continue to keep an eye on it, an official at the office said. Another said, it looks like a hot air balloon. Defense Minister Taro Kono ordered the self-defense forces to follow protocols as he issued standing orders 
for dealing with unidentified aerial objects that could pose a threat to Japan's security. In a statement, Kono asked SDF members to record and photograph any such objects that they encounter or that enter Japanese airspace, and to take steps for the necessary analysis of the sightings, including information provided separately by the public. While the Defense Ministry says there have been no known cases of the SDF encountering UFOs, the latest move comes after the U.S. Defense Department established a special Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force last month in order to improve its understanding of and gain insight into the nature and origins of the objects and other phenomena. The Pentagon also released videos in April that were taken in 2004 and 2015, including one that showed an elliptical flying object that demonstrated unseen levels of speed and maneuverability. Kono said after the video's release that he does not believe in UFOs. Rather, one key aspect of forming the protocol was to have rules in place in the event that SDF members encounter unconventional aircraft, including ever-advancing drone technology that could pose a national security threat. In February 2018, the Japanese government made public its official position on UFOs, saying that no confirmation has been made of their existence. The document, a cabinet-issued response to questions from a lawmaker, added that there was no existing policy as to what the government would do in the event of a confirmed UFO sighting. The government has not considered in any specific manner what will be done should a UFO be spotted flying toward Japan, it said. Having gone through various strange findings in the sky, it is important to note that even the sky undergoes strange lighting. These bizarre phenomena, such as rainbow clouds, bloody skies, and the like, are not only shocking but also beautiful to behold. The magnificent rainbow clouds. These colorful clouds were once seen flashing in the night sky over the Arctic. Known as polar stratospheric clouds, clouds form only in the stratosphere, which is the Earth's secondary atmosphere, with temperatures below 114 degrees Fahrenheit. The stratosphere is usually too dry for clouds to form, but at very low temperatures, largely spaced water molecules begin to coalesce to form ice crystals that form clouds. As sunlight shines through these glass clouds, it scatters, creating many different wavelengths of light and giving the clouds their rainbow color. The height of the clouds increases so that sunlight hits the glass and diffuses the viewer as the sun exceeds even the ski when the clouds appear brightest. Another incredible sighting is a bright green laser flash in the night sky that was taken through a telescope at Mauna Kea, the highest mountain in Hawaii. Gradually, the visible dots lasted only a few seconds, but they have drawn comparisons on the internet to digital rain or the green letters of computer code that fall straight from the screen in the Matrix movies. But these lines are not proof that we live by mathematics. Instead, it comes from lasers fired from NASA's ICES AT-2 satellite that measure the amount of ice in the Earth's cryosphere, the part of the Earth covered in thick rain with thick snow, sea ice, lake and river ice, ice and snow, and the Himalayas. Also, there's this amazing aurora-like light that was spotted in early 2023 after a massive solar storm in the United States. And in many countries, it's known as Steve. A steve or intense tropical storm is a rare phenomenon that produces an hour of solid light hanging in the air. During a solar storm, the Earth's weak magnetic field breaks up into a river of hot plasma or ionized gas. The plasma flow is uniform and constant, which means that the same gas remains excited and continues to produce the same luminescence. Steves are sometimes too far away from the Earth's poles to be visible, though scientists still don't know why. That's not all. Something was in the air when this image of concentric rainbow-colored rings was snapped in Finland. And it turns out that something was pollen. Multicolored rings such as these, known as pollen coronas, form when sunlight scatters off thousands of pollen grains in the air. This creates a diffraction pattern in which individual wavelengths of light cancel each other out and only allow certain colors to be seen by the observer. Individual grains are also illuminated and appear as bright spots in the image. The pollen in the image comes from pine trees. Pollen coronas only appear when pollen concentrations are very high, 
and can only be clearly seen when the sun or full moon is partially obscured. One really stunning sight was that of the bleeding sky. A blood-red streak of light was left behind in the sky above Arizona after one of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets punched a hole in Earth's ionosphere. When the second stage of the rocket burns, fuel 125 to 185 miles below the surface, ionospheric holes form. At this altitude, carbon dioxide and water vapor from the rocket cause the ionized oxygen atoms to recombine or reform diatomic oxygen molecules, causing differentiation in the plasma, which in turn produces excited molecules, causing them to be thrown into the energy range of light. Scientists have known about ionospheric holes for a long time, but they are becoming more common as the number of rockets launched increases. The hole poses no threat to humans on the surface, closing naturally within hours as the remixed gas reionizes. Speaking of lights, this image was taken by an astrophysicist at Queen's University Belfast in Northern Ireland. It shows an impressive array of bright triangles and halos shining around the sun. Bright sunlight passes through millions of ice crystals conveniently located in the upper atmosphere and results in such cosmic rays. The tiny rectangular crystals reflect light like prisms, and when driven in the same direction by a strong current, their diffracted light collides to form beams of light. The image shows at least three different optical elements, a 22-degree halo, a large sphere around the sun, a pair of sun dogs with bright spots on each side of the 22-degree halo, and a perfect horizontal circle, with a circle divided into two lines, which are rare in its kind. The image also includes a halo cut, the sublateral arc of the eye, and the top of the 22-degree halo. What are your thoughts on these strange things that were just found in the sky that scientists can't explain? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're here, click on the video on the screen for more content like this one.